Hey, you sexy muchacho. I'm Matthias, and in this Blender Quick Tip, we're going to learn how we can set random colors to our polygon faces. So take a deep breath and let's dive into it. I'm going to select my mesh. This is just an icosphere, and I've added a displacement modifier with just a simple displacement noise texture. Nothing special, but I'm going to start shading this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the Shadings tab, hit Z, and then I'm going to select my Materials Preview. You can also do the same thing by coming over here and clicking this little button here. I'm going to come over here to my Materials tab and click New. Give this a name, Random Colors. Now I'm going to go into the Shader Editor, Shift A, Input, and then select Geometry. Now we have a Geometry node. Shift A again, and this time I'm going to add in a converter and a math node. Now I'm going to select the true normal output from the geometry node and plug it like so. I'm going to select the add node, Shift D to duplicate and move it over here. And I'm going to set this to multiply. Connect the add node like so. Shift A and I'm going to select input and select an object info node. Now what we need to do is use the random output of this and plug this into a multiply node. So I'm just going to zoom in. Whoop, nope. Okay. Second time. Easy peasy. I'm going to select my multiply node, shift D to duplicate and I'm going to plug it like this. Now I'm going to set the value to about 25 should be good. I'm going to select the node and duplicate it again. But this time we're going to set the operation to modulo. I'm going to connect these two bad boys up like so. Set the value to 1. Stay with me guys, stay with me. We're almost there. Take deep breaths. Now our last node is a color ramp, so shift A, converter, and then color ramp. Now we need to plug it in with this friends. Now you'll see that our shader is just grayscale. So what we need to do is set our colors in the color ramp. I'm just speeding through this. You can add or remove colors just by clicking the plus or minus button in the color ramp here. I'm going to select yellow or orange and I'm going to select a pretty pink maybe a blue now all my colors are easing into one another in a slight gradient but if you don't want that you can set the RGB to a constant. This will only use the colors that you have selected, but I like mine to be a pretty rainbow. So I'm going to select linear. Now you can also set how much a color comes through by just moving these candles around. I want mine to be more red. Now I'm going to come over to the layout, which is the default view, Z and rendered. I want to give this a quick cheeky render by going to view, viewport render image. Uh, voila. I hope this was useful to you. If you want to learn how to do these uh, wireframes in your render, check out my previous tutorial. Until next time, adios hombre.